Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Today I'm going to be trying something magical. Poof. <laughs> that didn't work. I got no magic. Uh, I'm trying this sauce from the Botanist Alchemy Gourmet Sauce Company. This one is called the Tropical Candy. Now I looked at the website I couldn't find anything on it. So I don't know if it's discontinued or if it's a new one. But let's see what's in this. Uh, the ingredients consist of hot peppers. Candied pineapple, coconut, mango, lemon juice, pink Himalayan salt, sugar cane, vinegar, and xanthan gum. So I have no idea which peppers are actually in this. It just says hot peppers. They are based out of Pickering, Ontario. Uh, the botanistalchemy.com will have the link in the description below as well as up here for you. They are 100% organic, non-GMO. Everything's made from Ontario products, and they're gluten-free, like a lot of sauces in that anymore. This one looks like an interesting one. I saw the mix of fruits on it, and I'm like, can't be too hot of one, being fruity, but you never know. And something different from what I normally try. So let's give this a shot and see what it tastes like. Plastic clear label on this one. Nice white label. You'll have the image up here. Seeing what it is. The one image, only one image I could find of this sauce. It's got a pretty good run. It's very liquidy. Just smell some peppers. Pick it up on the coconut. Let's give this a try. Oh, wow. Well, really ready. It's consistency of like. Yeah. I don't even know what to consider. Really runny baby food? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not like pure water, but it's not thin, thin, like thick, or I should say either. It does have a nice, nice aroma to it, though. As you see, it kind of sp spread it across the spoon, so it's, it's moving quite easily. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos coming out. Cheers. <clears throat> so it's a bit, little bit of a bite. <clears throat> My guess is probably habaneros. Judging by the way the heat is on the tongue. So I'm going to go with this habaneros for the heat. I'm actually picking up on a lot of the uh, sweetness, though. So. You'd think the, the pineapple, cane, coconut, and all that, it would pick up on a little bit more. Or at least you'd hope to. It's had a little bit. <clears throat> Picked up a little bit more on the coconut. <clears throat> not even smelling anything on it at the moment it's an interesting sauce <clears throat> the heat I would probably put maybe maybe a one if that it's not anything hot as I said I think it's habanero that they have in there it's got a bit of that uh Fruitiness from that, and the floralish, floral fruity that you get from some habaneros. But the, the heat wise is what is thinking, making me think habaneros. But it's not a sauce I would honestly personally buy again. But if you're looking for something that's not too hot, 
has a bit of a sweetness to it. This is probably be up your alley. Definitely an interesting sauce though. But can't please everyone with every sauce, right? <laughs> That's why I'm here to try them and just find out what I like and what I don't like and make recommendations to you guys. But that's pretty much it for this one, I guess, because not much else I can say about it. So don't forget to do the usual social media stuff. You know what to do. Share the share the wealth of my videos. Let other people check out what I'm doing. And we'll see you next time. Take care. I was really hoping for more pineapple coconut taste in this one. Didn't even taste the mango. Kind of disappointing on the flavor palette.